Miss Fiorello here, reporting live from Hall Duty. So, everyone gets to think I'm talking to myself. But I'm going through this worksheet, how to make a scatter plot on your graphing calculator, and just modeling it and just filling in any holes you might have had. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is make sure your diagnostic is on. So if you second catalog, um, go down to diagnostic. Oh, everyone's going to gym class. Where is that? Uh, you want it on. Enter. Okay. And all that does is it will show you the correlation coefficient um, if you do a regression. Um, otherwise, it wouldn't. You still would be able to do all this, but you wouldn't really be able to analyze how good of a correlation it is because it wouldn't show you that the r or the r squared. Um, okay, so the next step we need to do is turn the stat plot on. So go to second y equals, second y equals, that's where stat plot is. Mine's already on, but you just click on it and you're going to switch from on, off to on. Um, you want it to be scatter plot as opposed to this sort of box and whisker. Make sure your x list is L1 and L2 or whatever um, lists you're going to use. We're going to use L1 and L2. And you can just kind of quit out of there. So that's done. And now we actually want to input the data. So you press stat and then edit. So this is where all your lists are. So we're only working with two. So this, these are our x values. Um, make sure they're correct. And then these are our corresponding y values. So make sure that's all right so you get the right values. Sorry, this is a little shaky. Okay. So that's done. We did stat edit, put in your list one and L2. Um, okay, so that's good. So I can exit out of there. Um, now we want to calculate our linear regression. So stat, calc, this is where all your regression options happen. And we're in linear functions, so this is going to be a linear regression. So go down to four, AX plus B. Linear regression. Now before you press enter, um, if you have this kind of calculator that I have, you're going to have to do what I do. Otherwise, we're, you're going to have to um, store, put Y1 next to the words reg EQ. So I'm putting Y1 next to this, um, but you might like have a whole list and you have to put Y1 next to reg EQ. Um, but I'm going to do it next to this. Okay, so to get Y1, you press VARS. See that right here? Short for variables, so variables. Um, it's a y variable, because we want to store in a y equals function, y1, and it's not until now that I press enter. Okay, so I press enter, and it gives me my a, so that's the slope. See how it's negative, so it's decreasing. Um, my y-intercept, the b, um, so presumably when x is 0, that would be the y. Um, r squared and r. So this is my correlation coefficient. The closer it is to one, the better correlation. So it's pretty, pretty highly correlated. Um, and I know it's gonna be decreasing because that's a negative. And I know it's pretty good because that's um, 20. It's pretty close to one. Okay, um, so if you graph right now, mine's ugly because we don't have a good window. And well, let me just check it's in y equals. So you should be able to see this in y equals. We'll use that later. So I can't even see it. So we need to change the window. It's loading. Um, you could do, if all else fails, do zoom stat. What this does is it fits all your information to the statistics that you have. See, and then I see everything. The trouble is if we want to ext um, extrapolate like find values that aren't in this data. Like I want to find x when or y when x is a uh, thousand. I can't do that in this window. So it's actually better to change your window manually or do zoom stat and then kind of adjust it from there. Um, I want to make my x min zero and I'll go to let's say 270 just to make it even. And then the y will go let's say. 10 to, it's the highest. Well, I'll go 0 to 40 is fine. So I just looked at my data. I looked at the x range. So it's like what's the smallest x and what's the smallest y and the y range. 
Okay, so then I'm gonna graph it here. So I just have a you know broader view, but this is useful because the next thing this asks us to do on the back is to calculate a y value. So if you want to calculate any y value, you need to input its x. So I want to calculate a value, not an intercept or min or max or intersection, a value. And I want to do it when x is 31. And I got that the corresponding y value is 42. So when, let's see, how do I do this? So when the horsepower is 31, whatever those units are, um, I get 42.8, no, was that? Yeah, 0.86 miles per gallon. Um, okay, but now if we want to calculate an x value. So if we had a y value, how do I find its corresponding x value? What you can do is plot another line. In this case, we want to figure out what the x value is when y is 13. Oh, right on the glare. So we want to figure out... Um, what's the x value right here? What's that x value? And the way we can do that is also with this calc, so second trace, we have this calc option. And if we just find the intersection of those two pieces, um, and you're gonna end up pressing enter, one, two, the guess means try to get as close as possible to the intersection. And that's gym class behind me. <laughs> but so when y is 13, x is 230, meaning that when the gas mileage is 13 miles, that's the horsepower. So that's pretty good. And that makes sense. And it is so loud, but if you want to clear everything, you can go to stat, clear list, and make that work. Oh, I think I have to say what list I'm clearing. Yeah, that's it. So clear list, and I want to tell it to clear L1, so I'll do second L1. Done. That's clear. And make sure if you want to, like if I wanted to graph a parabola right now, that would be a mess. So watch. Um, we'll just say zoom, standard. It's, it's just not about that. Because you can't mix it so you're not oh I did something oh I don't have any stats so let me just turn this off and I can go back to graphing lines or any algebra that I want so off and hopefully this video isn't too noisy or too long to upload to whatever um, just do that 10,000 times until you can do it with your eyes closed and just be like, boop, 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 boop. I'm done. Yay. Woohoo. All right, this got weird. <laughs>